the world of a movie really helps an actor a lot. The 80s section of the film, the kind of location we shot in, was very, very close to that could have happened at that time. It's cool, it's pretty retro and different. It is, we were more vibrant in color. We put, you know, those kind of posters, Gabbar ka, Britannia ka posters, Liril ka, Carol Nunel ka first uh, print ads. We sourced those, we printed those. The kind of sound system we would have, then cars, vintage cars. When we were researching, I think Sanjay Dutt was first guy in film industry. That time, who used to own BM3 series. So he was that lavish in his lifestyle. So getting those right things were tough. So I knew Sanju sir at that time. I used to go to his theater to watch movies. So I have certain memories of it, and it was very close to where we shot. I guess I'm shooting now. Fashion was a very important facet in this film. 80s fashion was the best, and Sanjay Dutt was right up there where fashion is concerned. There's a Harley Davidson jacket and sunglasses. You're like, wow, that is me. I want to wear a Harley Davidson jacket and sunglasses. Every guy wanted to dress like Sanjay Dutt because you never saw that before. In the 80s, there were high waisted, there were bell bottoms, there were round neck t shirts or boat neck t shirts. <laughs> we did have some challenges like when we did this look because the Dungri's fit back then and the Dungri's fit now is very uh, different. My ass looks really bad on these Dungri's, but everybody seems to think I look cute. Raju sir asked me to make moderations where we don't lose out on the essence of the era but at the same time we do get that likability factor. It wasn't just an expensive piece of clothing, it was style. The costume department had worked really hard to achieve that. It felt like I was in the 80s.